So here we have to find value of integral. Integral 0 to 1 x into 1 minus x whole raised to n. So we can see that this integral is a definite integral that is the integral having upper and lower limit. We are going to solve this problem using the properties of definite integral. For that take i equal to integral 0 to 1 x into 1 minus x whole raised to n dx. Okay. Now by using the properties of definite integral we know that integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Now using this property we can rewrite our integral as i equal to integral 0 to 1 instead of x we have to put a minus x. What is a here that is 1. So here we have to put 1 minus x since a equal to 1 that is instead of x we are taking 1 minus x here here instead of x 1 minus x so we get integral 0 to 1 1 minus x into 1 minus 1 minus x whole raised to n okay so now 1 minus of 1 will become 0 Minus of minus will become plus. So we get our integral as integral 0 to 1, 1 minus x into x raised to n. That is 1 minus 1 becomes 0, minus of minus becomes x. Whole raised to n will becomes x raised to n. So this is our integral. After applying the property, now this is in an integrable form. On multiplying each term with x raised to n inside the bracket we will get integral 0 to 1 x raised to n into x into x raised to n that is x raised to n plus 1 that is x raised to n minus x raised to n plus 1 dx. Now what is integral of x raised to n dx that is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 here we have x raised to n plus 1. So x raised to n plus 2 by n plus 2 is the value of integral. Next we have to apply the limit from 0 to 1. Now what is the limit when sorry what is the value when we apply the limit 1 that is 1 by n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 2 on applying 0 minus on applying 0 it will become 0 that is 0 by n plus 1 minus 0 by n plus 2 will become 0 again. Now on simplifying this we will get that is by taking LCM we will get n plus 2 minus n plus 1 whole divided by n plus 1 into n plus 2. Now n plus 2 minus n plus 1 n and n get cancel each other that is n plus 2 minus of n n and n becomes 0, 2 minus 1 becomes 1. So what is our final result? That is 1 divided by, on multiplying this two term, we will get n square plus 3n plus 2. Or you can write this term as it is, that is n plus 1 into n plus 2. Okay.